very good morning to you. There is another modern parable for you. A farmer had some puppies he needed to sell. He painted a sign advertising the pups and set about nailing it to the post at the edge of his yard. As he was driving in the last nail, he felt a tug on his overalls. He looked down into the eyes of a little boy. Mister, he said, I want to buy one of your puppies. Well, said the farmer as he rubbed the sweat off the back of his neck, these puppies came from fine parents and cost a good deal of money. The boy dropped his head for a moment. Then reaching deep into his pocket, he pulled out a handful of coins and held it up to the farmer. I've got 39 cents. Is that enough to take a look? Sure, said the farmer. And with that he let out a whistle. Here, Dolly, he called. Out from the doghouse and down the ramp ran Dolly, followed by four little balls of fur. The little boy pressed his face against the chain-link fence. His eyes danced with delight. As the dogs made their way to the fence, the little boy noticed something else stirring inside the doghouse. Slowly another little ball appeared, this one noticeably smaller. Down the ramp it slid. Then, in a somewhat awkward manner, the little pup began hobbling towards the others, doing its best to catch up. I want that one, the little boy said, pointing to the runt. The farmer knelt down at the boy's side and said, Son, you don't want that puppy. He will never be able to run and play with you like these other dogs would. With that, the little boy stepped back from the fence and reached down and began rolling up one leg of his trousers. In doing so, he revealed a steel brace running down both sides of his leg, attaching itself to a specially made shoe. Looking back up at the farmer, he said, You see, sir, I don't run too well myself and he will need somebody who understands. With tears in his eyes, the farmer reached down and picked up the little pup. Holding it carefully, he handed it to the little boy. How much? asked the little boy. No charge, answered the farmer. There's no charge for love. The world is full of people who need someone who understands. That's so true. Someone who knows what it is like to lose a spouse or a child or a sibling. I've been told that only a rehabilitated alcoholic can help an alcoholic overcome the addiction. That is what Alcoholics Anonymous is all about. An ex-drug addict to help someone addicted to drugs. So also in business or labor, or someone battling with their faith, perhaps in the science and religious issue. When we are in trouble, we need someone who has been there and overcome the problem that we have to help us. That is why God sent his son into the world, to live as one of us. The world threw its utmost against him in all that evil devil Satan could contrive. And Jesus overcame the onslaught through love and forgiveness. That is why he can enable us to overcome whatever onslaught we may face. He has been there. He knows. He understands. He is one of us and with us and for us. Let us pray. O Lord God, 
when the world throws its worst against us. Show us that we can call on your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to take us, encourage us, strengthen us, to re-motivate us in hope, in faith and in love that we may be more than conquerors in him who has overcome all evil to your honour and glory. Help us to trust him implicitly in the storms and tsunamis of life and to know his victory and triumph. In his powerful name we ask this. Peace of God which passes all understanding Keep your heart and mind in the knowledge and love of God. Amen. Oh.